Okay, take three. <laughs> I dropped my phone halfway through that last one, so I'm gonna start over. This is the uh, Awatscraft 3.3 meter, uh, about 11 footer. And the reason I'm choosing to do this over another Skookum kit is that my power plant on this build is gonna be a Honda Turbo. This thing's about 165 horsepower, which I think is gonna be perfect for this uh, smaller boat. And my goal is to be able to have a smaller, lighter, uh, boat that if you're out running by yourself and you get high and dry it should be light enough that one person can push it off with the UHMW on the bottom so um, that's why I'm choosing this kit the the Wattscrap the 3.3 meter is a little bit different than the Skookum in that the Skookum is RS Racecraft over their experience of, of uh, cutting and bending the the uh, the Wattscraft kits if you will they kind of designed that kit from the ground up to meet kind of North American specs. A um, little bit heavier duty bottom, a little bit bigger for the Snake River and stuff like that. So they uh, they took their time a lot on that kit. It's a way more complete kit with fuel tanks, bulkheads, um, dashes already cut out. And it's really set up for the Yamaha now. They're adapting that for sea as well. But the Wattscraft, it's kind of a more of a, just a generic kind of build it and put anything you want into it. So you're gonna find some things in this kit, like, hey, there's no, there's no hole cut out of the bottom plate for the intake. There's also no hole in the transom cut out for the intake. There's no kind of free, free spots over there for where the fuel tank goes or where the, uh, the water box goes over here. Those aren't already pre-done because this is a, like I said, a more of a generic, kind of build it for your motor and pump combo as you go. I will say that so far, there's been, uh, this thing has been going together really well. Um, I had one little issue with the transom. I couldn't quite, I couldn't get it down uh, as tight as I like. So I, got, I went on the backside here and welded a whole bunch of tabs and then just put C-clamps on there and pulled it down and got a nice tight fit all along the back. The only problem with that is then you're going to have grind marks as I uh, cut those or uh, break them off and grind those flush. So not a big deal. This, I think the swim step is going to block that anyway. So you're going to have some grind marks in there. But um, other little things, let's see, the engine bears, those all went down. They're very similar to the uh, um, to the Skookum kit. These are just a butt joint. So I, I again, cut a chamfer in there. And then I'm going to grind those, the top sides of those flush. They're welded on the bottoms. These are welded on the bottoms. And again, really happy and pleased with the way that that sat down in there. Um, I've, I've gotten pretty good at, I'll, I put a, I put a, uh, essentially a beam kind of, so this is, this one's welded in here to hold the, the width in here, but I put a, a beam across here, nice big um, channel uh, across it, clamp it on one side. Then when I come over here, I put a block underneath here and then pull that beam down and it's and so then it's putting pressure on there. And I just do that, I kind of move along as I go and able to get, so I, I'll do that, do you know about six to eight inches forward and then I'll move the block out here and make sure the, the longitudinal is down nice and tight as well. And then I'll go over, pull the beam, move it up, come back over here, start here, move my way up move my way up and so on forth uh, and it works pretty good anyway the uh the bow is pulled up and together the um the keel reinforcement strip is in there the chine ex the external chine is on here and man this thing this thing just fit so nice like the seams are like literally perfect came out to a nice point everything is going really really well on this kit so far and um, I have got my brother in town. He's down here from Alaska. So I'm going to uh, make him uh, help me with put the sides on tomorrow. So that's, uh, it'll be nice to have helpers. But tomorrow I should have the, the full big sides on, the uppers, the, the whole bow deck. And man, it's, you know, these things go together pretty quick once you're, once you're flying along and kind of get a little bit used to it. Anyway, um, I'll do another recap tomorrow when I'm done. So show the progress. And uh, like I said, I'm going to get a little bit lazy on, you know, no fancy music or videos or anything like that. But uh, stay tuned if you're interested in the, the Wattscraft 3.3 meter with a Honda Turbo. Thanks for watching.